the as, well played. as wanted as you know like oh as her man does and of course people were like oh Aisha wants attention to validate she shouldn't need a man to validate who she is and how pretty she is true mm-hmm. but then we have women out here who do nothing but dress up in tight ass bandage dresses and 50 inch lace wigs and mm-hmm. beat their face nonstop because right. they don't want their man to see them in their natural state mm-hmm. and is that not some kind of validation from a man because if you wanted a man to love you for you wouldn't you not cake your face with 30 pounds of makeup mm-hmm. right do you mm-hmm. want to feel validated and beautiful and oh he thinks i'm gorgeous with you know these blue eyes and whatever that bullshit is <laughs> right, right, but right. i digress getting into that situation aisha did tell a story i think it was on the view or one of these tv shows either the view or the talk or one of these shows she spoke about the fact that there was a time where she was she and and steve steven steph sorry Mm -hmm. she and steph were going somewhere they were going somewhere or doing something and he pulls the car up either to park or to get out the car to, to pulled up the car to park from wherever it was they were going or doing or coming from the place and a woman as he opened the car door a woman reaches into the car what? past Aisha right. to get into Steph's face and in the face of their baby. What? And oh, then yeah, looks to Aisha and tells her, well, you knew what you signed up for. What? Why aren't we calling out these heifers? <laughs> Where is the but call to be fair, out? Those women ain't feminists. Huh? To be fair, those women ain't feminists. <laughs> but as a feminist, right. call them out. But I see what you're saying. Feminists should be calling them out. Call I got them you. out. I got you. I call got them you. out. You're right. Because that's Why aren't we nasty. talking about these women who are deliberately coming into our homes and breaking up our families? Right. Mm-hmm. And as black women, you know it's hard for us to keep our families together. You know it's hard for a family to stay together, period, in the black community. Mm-hmm. Amen. Right? It's not like the white Irish Italians where they have that generational wealth and they hate right. each other, but they stay with each other for 50 exactly. years. They don't give a shit. They will stay stay with each other That's for 50 right. years live no sleep in two money. different mm-hmm. bedrooms mm-hmm. don't talk to each other these right. separate lives but they keeping that what in, in the, the family. family that's right like folks we don't do that nah 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 nah. as nah, soon nah, as she nah. get pregnant a nigga out he did right Peace. exactly exactly right so you know and it's that's hard a whole other and that's a whole other mm-hmm. conversation mm-hmm. you know yes i say nigga to, in, to specifically mean you know mm-hmm. ain't shit man nah, yeah <laughs> yeah exactly but you know, why aren't we calling out these women? And why mm-hmm. is it okay for us as black women to live in a culture where we we romanticize and we popularize and we put these kinds of women on pedestals, on TV, in our faces, on Instagram? Right. You know, we buy their shit on Fashion Nova. Yeah. We buy their, their designer lace wigs. Mm-hmm. We buy these shoes that cost way more than our paychecks. Why? Do we go ahead and make them famous, right? Why do we pop it? Why? Why do we do that? And then in the same breath, be like, we want equality. We want this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is the cash 22. It's such a cash yeah. 22 for me. And I saw I was sitting here like, yo, some of these feminists, they ain't real feminists. Like I, and, and when I say feminists, I mean these black feminists, you know, and I understand the, the cash 22 in the cash 22, because it's like, if you call this shit out, it's like, oh, well, you know, they got to get theirs. And if those women want to be famous doing that, then go ahead, you know, let them do them because right. men be doing it. Men be cheating on women all the time and they still famous and they still popular. So why she can't get up, get on with that. But we look at people who idolize men like that mm-hmm. as men who aren't worth our time. Right. Right. Yeah, true that. Yeah. We look at mm-hmm. men like that and say, that's not what you should be teaching right. our young brothers. That's right. not what you should be teaching our sons and True our that. boys and you know our young men how to live. Right. So why aren't we doing the same mm-hmm. with these women? I agree. I know, I, I agree, it's, especially you know? from that point of view. You know, cause I, and I remember a, a counter argument, or rather, not not really a counter argument, but a companion argument is. You know how we always teach young girls to not be fresh or not just a certain mm-hmm. way because of predatory ma- males. Yes, and and you know the the way the culture should shift is that we teach men to not be to not shit be, to the you know, point where and yes, exactly and feel like they can you know have take advantage of a woman. But that still doesn't mean that 
we stop teaching young women to like to respect themselves yeah respect themselves and, and, and respect certain arrangements or the sanctity of whatever i'm not going to yeah. say marriage. marriage i'm not going to cheat yeah. about saying marriage whatever. but like a relationship or, or, or a happy home and you know like sister who reached out for aisha curry like you know what you signed respect up for like that's to, to really say something yeah. like well you knew what you signed up for yeah you that's knew- really shady that to me is like yeah. you saying, well, okay, yeah, you famous and you knew you were going to sign up for side chicks trying to be the side chick. Right. So. Mm-hmm, right. And, but and you know, I'm child, trying to get the like, bag. Mm-mm. Yeah, so exactly. That gives you the right to invade my personal space and right. invade my husband because he's famous and I signed up. I didn't sign up for that. I signed up to be married to Steph. I signed up to be a wife and a companion to Steph. Right. And I signed up to be his equal. I didn't sign up to have to be his equal and you be. You know the twenty percent lingering right. on the side of my eighty. Exactly. I didn't sign up for that. Exactly. You know, and that's why I was like, I don't, I don't fuck with the feminist culture that doesn't call. Like, I, I was really, literally sitting there like, yo, like we gotta do better. Like, we out here telling these people, you know, check your peoples. We right. need to check our peoples and check them ten times better because no way, shape, or form in a world where we were actually checking women. Will we be having these VH1 shows the way that we're having them and that we sit there and we we live through, we vicariously live through the entertainment of watching women throw drinks at each other and snatch oh, wigs yeah. and slap each other up and be like, she had a comment to her and oh my God, did you see that episode? We wouldn't right. be doing that shit if we were literally keeping our folks accountable. True that. We wouldn't be out here, um, you know, taking, we would be out here embracing factual evidence and stuff like that when it came to these claims and these accounts and not to say the me too movement but some of the things that come you know that come that go into the me too like the rape and the sexual assault Mm -hmm. we would be thinking more on the lines of like okay how are both people culpable how are not how are both people culpable Mm -hmm. or is this person really the attacker and this person is really the victim right yeah i get what you're saying because Mm -hmm. there was that um and to bring it kind of like to all women, there was the the account where who it was the same woman who came out and spoke about Harvey Weinstein. A mm-hmm. young man came out and said, "Yeah, she." Oh yeah, Asia Argento, the young yeah, yeah the, the one, young man came out and said yeah. that yeah, well she you know sexually yeah, she came assaulted to me. me yeah exactly. And I was a young man, she was and seventeen or sixteen. Yeah, or he was he yeah. was you know she he was, was like a minor 32. at the time, yeah. and then why do we not hear a lot about that? Right. Why isn't that? And, yeah, and apparently Katy Perry is kind of rapey. And, Kate, you know, like she, and she yeah, did it violated. on she did it on TV, on a couple TV of times. because yeah. the man said I was saving my first kiss for my first love on um, American, American Idol, Idol right. and he was auditioning and he told her that he said my first kiss I wanted to be with somebody who I love blah 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 he was a, a virgin through and through and through right and what she do she told him to give her a kiss on the cheek turn around and took the boy's yes. first kiss from yes. him yes exactly I remember that, that shit yeah. ain't cool yeah. Like that stuff like that cool. is kind of like you're really. I mean, come that on. shit ain't cool. <laughs> and then I, so, you know, and to wrap it all up and to kind of leave us with this, I know I'm leaving on like a somber note, but mm-hmm. I was thinking about the fact that like I get where some of the core of our feminism comes from. And again, like you said, patriarchy. A lot of it has to do with patriarchy and us not um, women not having the voice and the the the, the know how, not even the know how, but the savvy and the power mm-hmm. to have all of that. But then I look at situations like, and I was thinking about it this morning too. I was like, I was driving in a car. I remember one time I was in a car on our way to a retreat um, and Tupac came on. Right. And one woman in the car was like, yo, I love me some Tupac. Like, ooh, if he was still alive, like he would get it. Mm -hmm. And then another girl in the car said something on the lines of like, well, I did like Tupac, but, you know, he was out here raping little girls. So uh, not so much. Mm -hmm. And it brought me back a minute because i wanted to say something in the car like to the effect that he was convicted but Mm -hmm. that's not to say that that he actually did that did it right because let's not act like in the 90s in the 2000s in the 80s in the 70s right young 13 14 15 year old girls weren't dressing up right Past to their age, older. yeah, to look mm-hmm. older, to mm-hmm. get into clubs. Mm-hmm. I mean, we know people like that that we went to high school that were living in high kind of school life. and junior high school. Let's keep it go real. To, go to clubs, meet much older men, mm-hmm. and try to have relationships with much older men. And when you look at Tupac, who was what in his 
early 20s because he died in the 20s. Yeah, he died in the mid-20s. Yeah. Mid-20s, right. Uh-huh. So in his early 20s, going to a club, seeing this girl, thinking, hey, she 18 because right. she in this club. Right. And you out here having sex. And all of a sudden, she turned around and says, oh, I'm 14. Um, yes. Mm-hmm. And then she got people in her ear telling her, well, you're 14, you could get money out of that. You get that. money, yes. Taking to court, because mm-hmm. let's face it, yeah, he went to jail, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure he had to pay some kind of restitution, and they had to sue his estate right. and get money. Mm-hmm. Let's not act like things like that don't happen. And I feel like mm-hmm. the only time that us as black women take that to heart, and when we don't victim, when we don't uh, shame the man, or mm-hmm. we don't take the word of the victim is when it's with white women right right crying assault yes. on a black man yeah when white Amen. women cry assault on a black man oh he didn't do it mm-hmm. because systemically and historically yes from the safe slavery yeah. days uh-huh. white women, white women had the power mm-hmm. it's white men have the power and then white women have the power right. so yes. white women will take a man from the from the cotton field. Yeah. Get, jump get, on that yeah. man, dingo, quote, uh-huh. unquote. And then exactly. if her husband catch, oh, how did he rape me? He raped me, right. Right? Mm-hmm. And that's been, throughout history, mm-hmm. it's been a, a theme that will never break. It's a thread that will never break. And it's it's a scenario that always pops up. Right. And in those situations, we automatically say, that brother, he was set up. Right, but right. But when it's one of our own, though, it's like, nah, mm-hmm. he did it. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, I see your point. I see your point. Yeah, you know, and yeah. I'm like, especially in situations where there is something to gain, and that's why I brought. That's when my mind went on to Brett Kavanaugh, and I was like, this girl got money from that. Right. This mm-hmm. woman who testified against Brett Kav, she didn't get anything. Yeah, she didn't from get it. any money. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So who am I more liable to believe? Right. Right. Um, and that's kind of like where my mind went. I was like, you know what? I'm not saying that I'm not a victim shame. I'm not going to shame victims, but at the same time, I think. I can have a enough of a feminist mindset to see, to ask the question, you give me your proof, you give me your proof, and let's figure out mm-hmm. who's lying and who's telling the truth right. versus immediately saying, take the woman's voice because our voice has been silenced for so long. Mm-hmm. Every single time a woman comes out and says, this man did something to me, mm-hmm. I should believe her. Right. I feel like they said even something with this guy who passed away, the... um the the guy who quote unquote hung himself in the oh yeah um uh, Anthony Bourdain he actually was dating Asia Argento he was mm-hmm. um what's oh, the I guy so. what's the guy um the the rich guy who just got he has like a bunch of suits against him right now Je- uh, uh, Epstein yes yeah uh-huh. I even look at that case where it's like now that he's dead the first thing my sister and I said oh he died watch Every person come out and get a lawsuit, even if mm-hmm. he never met them. Right. Lawsuit. Uh-huh, oh, uh-huh. yeah, he touched me when, like, back in 1985. You were a year old. Right. He was in Colorado, and you right, were right, right, right. in France. When, yeah, when he did he messy. get to... When? Uh-huh. You know? So, not saying that I agree with anything that he did. But proving the point that, like, there are women out there who will do shit for money mm-hmm. or for praise or for clout or for whatever the, their agenda is. And while, yes, it is feminist to me to say that a woman can have her own agenda, mm-hmm. I think it's also feminist to check women who are out here doing that shit because not only um, is that just morally wrong, mm-hmm. um, it's also reduced, it's also muddying. Right, the ma- movement. Making yeah. a muck, a right. muckery right. of the movement. You want a voice... But you're out here slapping another woman in the face for you to be more, you know, for you to get 30K more an episode than the other. Exactly. Exactly. You're snuffing no, you're this right. woman's voice yeah, uh-huh. to make more money. But then as a whole, you want to say, oh, mm-hmm. you don't have a voice and men put us down. But our own women are putting us down and we're not telling our own women, stop your shit and right. get out the way. Right. Mm-hmm. So we can go ahead and be better as a group and go out here and get. Get get this paper. Get this That's check. Right. No, you're right. Yeah, you so, hit on the head. I I as an adult female woman mm-hmm. was like, um, made me really question whether or not I consider myself a feminist mm-hmm. or um, I guess a womanist. Um, womanist. That's the that's the more the black. That's the more of the black yeah, version, the of version of it. Um, because I feel like as a womanist, I wouldn't support shit like that. And I really, I I forbade myself from watching those kinds of shows. Right. Or from endorsing those women who, you know, it's like, I'm a baby mama, even though you knew the man was married type right. shit. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was also not quick to just always believe every time someone says I was attacked, I'm I'm not 
not to say that I'm not quick to, but I gonna look at everything i have to look at everything because i feel like if you want equal pay you want equal rights then look at a situation equally you have to look at both sides you can't i want equal this equal that equal this equal that but when it comes to somebody getting into trouble for something i'm always right and they're always wrong right because i have a Mm -hmm. vagina Mm -hmm.